Hello, my name is Tech, and today we're gonna review a 7 port USB 3.0 hub with a 4 amp power adapter. Uh, this USB hub, uh, which I got from uh, eBay for 25 bucks, which is a great deal, I think. Uh, you can probably get it on, off Amazon for similar price. Um, most of them look similar somewhat. Uh, this one, what's nice feature, it has uh, seven ports uh, with indicator light on which, uh, depending on which device is on. And each port has its own off on off switch. So if the, you decide to, uh, let's say, plug in your uh, USB hub, I mean a uh, USB flush, um, instead of pulling it out, you can just turn it off and you can leave it there for future. Um, so, a few things about this uh, 7 port hub. Uh, this is particular one, it has no brand name, which is a little weird, but that's fine. Uh, has 7 ports, has uh, USB plug, 3.0 plug, uh, plug for a power. Comes with 2 feet USB 3.0 cable, so as you can see the USB uh, has standard USB uh, connector except it's blue which indicates that it's 3.0 the second end is actually different it's sort of like uh, like a plug B connector times two uh, so USB 3.0 definitely uses different cables uh, it also came with a power supply this is 4 amp power uh, power adapter that, that we can plug into the USB hub um, this one does not come with any drivers or any manual uh, which is kind of bummer um, it says it supports Windows uh, 7, however we're working on Windows Vista 64-bit and when I plugged it in, it did not recognize the USB hub. Uh, I wasn't able to find the correct drivers for it, so I had to go to the web and actually locate the drivers that would support USB 3.0 hub. Uh, I was successful on finding it on the Lenovo website. Uh, uh, so I did create a link and a little additional information about the USB 3.0 hub on my website. So go ahead and visit uh, techbay.com. Uh, that's T-E-C-K-B-A-Y.com. Uh, you will find the link where you can download the driver directly off from the Lenovo website. So please go ahead and uh, visit my website and you'll find all the links but a driver just in case you have the same problem as I did. Otherwise, uh, if you plug it in, it works, uh, it's good for you. You know, it's definitely a nice device for 25 bucks. You know, it's definitely good buy. Uh, if you're gonna spend a lot of money on the USB hub, do not spend a fortune on the USB 3.0 because it's an old technology, believe it or not. Even though it's new, it's something uh, new that you might have heard of. However, that 3.0 USB 3.0 hasn't been really adapted. Um, you know, uh, there's definitely a lot of uh, new USB 3.0 devices and, and new computers support USB 3.0. However, there's a USB 3.1 that just came out and it should be um, announced publicly or be available publicly sometime in the middle of 2014. So use, do not spend a lot of money on USB 3.0 because it's not the latest technology. It wasn't adapted and the 3.1 has extremely huge advantage of a 3.0. So, but for meanwhile, you know, this is, if you spend 25 bucks on a hub, you will definitely keep you running for a few years. So money well spent. Hope you enjoyed this review and be sure to check out my website if you need a driver for it. That's T-E-C-K-B-A-Y.com. Thank you.